crush anyone who gives me any lip. Led by the noble Yuan Shao, the anti-Dong Zhuo coalition succeeded in defeating Dong Zhuo's forces. They soon disperse, with each lord returning to his own lands. Dong Zhuo, who had fled to Shan'an, is soon killed by the betrayal of Lubu. As the chaos of the land peaks, each of the lords begins to make his move. The first to show their hands are Yuan Shao and Yuan Shu. The forces of the two become embroiled in a vicious battle with each other. The other lords soon take sides as the land is split into the two factions. However, though they had chosen sides in this battle, they still had their own desires and agendas. Each soon began to make plans to fulfill those desires. I've just about had it. Why do we have to escape from Luo Yang anyway? Dong Bai, granddaughter of Dong Zhuo. She was doted on by Dong Zhuo from her birth and was raised without want. After receiving the fierce attack of the anti Dong Zhuo coalition, Dong Zhuo resolves to move the capital to Chang'an. Dong Bai obeys Dong Zhuo and grudgingly heads for Chang'an. Lady Dong Bai, calm yourself. Moving the capital to Chang'an was Lord Dong Zhuo's decision. You shouldn't express your discontent so openly. If only the coalition had never come, the grandfather wouldn't have had to go and move the capital. I swear, that Yuan Shao's certainly a cheeky one, isn't he? Forming a coalition and coming here to attack us? Guess he didn't have what it takes to fight grandfather man to man. And don't even let me get started about you, Zhang Liao. If you and your underlings weren't so cowardly, we wouldn't even have to be fleeing Luo Yang in the first place. Or could it be, you and your lot were bumbling about on purpose, with hopes of receiving a harsh punishment? No, we would never do such a thing. All my men fought bravely, with no other intention but to crush the coalition. Yet, there was a warrior among them who was skilled enough to defeat even our own Hua Xiong, forcing our army into a quagmire. I had no idea there was such a man outside of the capital. I'm not interested in your excuses. If you lose next time, you won't be forgiven. But enough of such talk. Here we're finally outside the capital, yet we haven't had a chance to stop and catch our breath. Zhang Liao, I'm stepping out for a bit. You know what? I'd like to find a shop that has those sweets you gave me as a souvenir from your travels. Lady Dongbai, now is not the time. These recent uproars have put the capital in a state of panic. Such careless behavior could put you in harm's way. 
so just be there to protect me when it does. Just like you always do. Anyway, quit your complaining, and let's get ready to go. L Lady Dongbai! I bear grave news! Lord Dongzhuo has been assassinated at the hands of Wang Yun and Liu Bu! What did you just say? Grandfather has been... It's... It's a lie! Lord Wang Yun, Lord Lu Bu, you have gone too far this time. It begs the question, what reason would these two have to join hands? I knew it. It was her. Wang Yun's foster daughter, Diao Chan, or whatever her name was. This is most certainly the works of that woman. She gained Grandfather's favor in order to cause him to lower his guard. Nothing but a dastardly vixen, that one is. Zhang Liao, capture Diao Chan and everyone involved at once! It will be done. Just wait. I shall have revenge for Grandfather at any cost. I will never forgive them. I will search them out and revenge myself on them. First, I will go after that Diao Chan. She will not get away. No reason for me to stay here. Let's steal what we can and get out of here. Stop! That's grandfather's! I won't allow you to take anything. What? Dong Zhuo left something behind? That sounds great! I want a slice of it! I can't return home empty-handed. I guess it's time to do whatever I can, even steal. 
heal if that's what it takes. Anything you say, just don't kill me. Then tell me where to find Diao Chan. You can't tell me you don't know. to die. Damn that Wong Yun. He's even coming after me. But I won't be that easy to take down. Lady Dong Bai, you saved me. Thank you for your aid. You seem to be a favorite of grandfather's. Now, have you seen Diao Chan around? Dongbai, I've discovered the location of Wang Yun. Well done, Jung Liao. Show me at once. On. I am sorry. However, he must still be close by. Let us look for him. Stop them by ourselves! Hey, where is Wong Yun? He's still not here. Jung Liao, you haven't been lying to me, have you? I would never do such a thing. He must be hiding somewhere nearby. This cannot be. Spare my life! I will tell you where Wong Yun is located! So we found Wong Yun's location. Lady Dongbai, I'm sorry for causing you so much trouble. You really did, making me run all over the place. Now, let's go find Wong Yun. Dong Bai. So you've come all the way here to avenge Dong Zhuo, is that right? A traitor deserves to be punished. Zheng Liao, cut this man to pieces! As you command. Wang Yun, prepare to die! This is the end. Diao 
Sean. You, at least, must get away. <laughs> Serves you right. What? You're hiding something there, aren't you? This... A letter from that woman. This should give me a clue about where I can find her. What's this? A traitor barking orders? Such impudence! So this is the might of Master Lupu. Just an insect being an insect. I won't forget this! Just you wait. I will definitely have my revenge! Hey! What's with that Lubu? Just brushing me aside like I'm nothing. An animal like that won't stand a chance against Grandfather's army. He'll be crushed before he knows it. We'll have to head back to Chang'an and form a subjugation unit to deal with this savage. Zhang Liao, we must hurry back at once. <sighs> Zhang Liao? Lady Dongbai, forgive my impudence, but you must return to Chang'an alone. Uh-huh. What are you 
you saying? When I clashed weapons with him, it became clear to me. The path I must take to becoming a true warrior is one that I must walk with Master Lu Bu. Now, I shall take my leave and pursue Master Lu Bu with the intent of pleading that he might allow me to accompany him. I could never forgive such a thing! Of course. Nor would I ever expect you to. Yet, I have already made up my mind. Lady Dongbai, once again I realize I'm speaking above my station, but right now, the capital has fallen into chaos. You must remain low for a while, and stay out of harm's way. Now, I must bid you farewell. Wait, Zhang Liao! I've never, never been so humiliated in my entire life. He would choose that beast over me? This I shall never forgive. First Lu Bu kills grandfather, and now I've been betrayed by Zhang Liao? I'll make sure all those who have betrayed me will regret ever having done so. Heavens, you are safe. This is no time to be thanking anyone. Order grandfather's soldiers at once. Tell them they must pursue Zhang Liao and that beast as well. It, it will not be easy. Master Dong Zhuo's army is currently in a state of sheer chaos. What was that? After Master Dong Zhuo fell, Master Liju and Master Guosi gathered our troops together. However, both of them insist that they are the successors of Dong Zhuo, and it has started to cause a rift between them. What are those two thinking? And at a time like this? Useless, the both of them. W what shall we do, Lady Dongbai? If the current conditions continue, our army will collapse from within. Ugh, I'm surrounded by undisciplined fools. Look what a fine mess they've landed us in. Squabbling over trifling details, the lot of them. I'll just have to beat some sense into them myself. Uh, understood. I'll go and gather the remaining troops. The successor of Grandfather, they say? Obviously, it's me. And if there's anyone foolish enough to argue otherwise, they'll just have to be punished accordingly. Just 
a little more, he would have sided with us if she hadn't shown up like that. <laughs> Witnessed firsthand the valor of Lady Dong Bai. Please allow me to serve you. I must retreat and rethink my plans. It's up to you now. when you defy me. What can I get for you? Please, come again. I've got some great stuff here. I appreciate your business. I've got some great stuff here. I appreciate... I've got some great stuff here. I appreciate your business. You need a horse? I'll be here if you need me. Shiliang. Hey, get on in here. Come again. Lady Dong Bai is the only true successor. I shall brook no disrespect. Lady Dong Bai, I have some information for you. It's about Jia Shu, strategist for Li Chu Wei. They say that he is gathering troops in the outskirts and putting together some reinforcements. This would be a good opportunity to enlist Jia Shu, and I'll take the men he's gathering at the same time. Everyone, 
defend this area. That did not go nearly as well as I planned. I must come back and try again later. Wait! I'm telling you to become my retainer! Wow! The sky is really fast! Hey! Master Jia Shu has fled! What are we going to do? Don't worry. I'll give you a place with my men. After we defeat Li Ju and Guo Xi, you'll earn a reward. a lesson. Fools! That's what happens when you defy me. Amazing! You sure know how to fight. Give me all your valuables if you want to pass here. Or would you prefer to do this the painful way? Getting in my way now. I'm in a hurry. I must stop Li Chue and Guo Xi. It looks like there are no more reinforcements. What happened to Jia Shu? Capturing the enemy's bases is the key to defeating them. We cannot afford to lose this position. I shall personally see to its defense. Saved me! I must offer my greatest thanks for your aid! I don't need thanks. I'd rather you tell me. Are you acquainted with Li Ju and Guo Xi? Yes, I heard the two of them were fighting. So I'm headed to Shang'an to help them work it out. Those two are causing me some problems. Please get them to stop fighting as soon as possible. Of course, that is my intention. I must hurry, so excuse me. Succeed him! Yeah. 
I was very wrong. Lady Dong Bai is the only one who can carry on for our lord. <laughs> Now then, as for who's to be the successor of Dong Juo, have you figured it out yet? Or perhaps you need me to teach you another lesson. No! You've made yourself quite clear. We shall mend our ways and serve you, Lady Dong Bai, with even more devotion than when we served Master Dong Juo. Excellent. Well then, here's your first order. We're heading out to subjugate Lubu, so dispatch your troops. Uh, Lubu! Please, wait, Lady Dongbai. Our army is currently in no state to be facing Lubu. What? Are your soldiers really that weak? It is just that. With the soldiers that left us to follow Lubu, and those that fled during the recent uproar, our forces have been spread thin. There was a strategist among us by the name of Jia Shu, but he has suddenly disappeared. I cannot express the shame I feel. You really are useless, aren't you? Well then, I guess I'll have to go ahead first and take back Luo Young. Take back Luo Young? Of course. It's belonged to Grandfather since the start. Besides, we can't just let that coalition occupy it for as long as they please. I'm with her. If Lady Dung Bai can take back Luo Young, it will undoubtedly boost the morale of our troops. Also, if Lady Dong Bai can make herself known throughout the land, the soldiers who disbanded after Dong Zhuo's death are sure to return to Lady Dong Bai's side. Ever since we fled to Shang'an, the anti Dong Zhuo coalition's been collapsing from within. Currently, there is no one stationed at Luoyang save Yuan Xiao. If we are to strike, the time is now. Yuan Shao, the leader of that insolent coalition, having the nerve to chase us out of Luo Young. I'll make sure he regrets it. I'll give that Yuan Shao a good thrashing and take back Luo Young. Everyone, let's get going. Yes, my lady. Luo Young belongs to grandfather. Yuan Shao has infested the place. I will drive him out. My lord, Dong Zhu. Lady Dong Bai, I have something to give you. Please, accept this. What is this? A dirty key? Luo Yang has a secret passage. This is the key to that door. Oh, that may actually be of use. All right, then I accept it. It is something I no longer have need of. Sayang, I believe you had a daughter. Are you not going to live with her? I am trying to give her freedom for now. She'll visit when she wants to see me again. Oh. Then... You had better live a long life, if only for the sake of your daughter. No! No, 
Dong Zhuo! Don't be stupid! Uh, Dong Zhuo is already dead!
take one step into Luo Young. Why do they have this much strength? Have they found someone to replace Dong Zhuo? entrance to the secret passage. I guess going alone would be unwise. Please allow us to use the secret passage. We shall strike Yuan Shao's force dumb with surprise. went well. I was in charge. We finally made it back to Luo Young. I wish it had been with Grandfather. know how to fight. I taught that one a lesson. Uh. Truly impressive. I uh. won't have any enemies left to defeat. force from the side. Shall be a thing of beauty. The enemy is on. 
on its way here. Take defensive positions! The enemy fights with a sense of unadulterated beauty. I'm afraid I must withdraw from this battle. Shao? I am Dong Fai, the grandchild of Dong Zhuo. I will be taking back my grandfather's Luo Yang. The world of Dong Zhuo is over! Now I will wipe out the remnants with my own hands! <laughs> Look at you! Sort with beasts. I taught that one a lesson. That was quite a spectacle. Truly amazing. <laughs> Listen to the arrogant ramblings of this girl! Pull back! Everyone, pull back! Now, Luo Young is once more in my hands. Soon, it will be time to defeat Lu Bu as well. Oh, Lady Dongbai! Congratulations on recapturing Luo Young, or perhaps rather, welcome back, I should say. I wonder how much merit there was in recapturing it, seeing what a mess it's become. This place might even be worse than Chang'an. No, Lady Dongbai. Taking back Luo Young from the Coalition was meaningful indeed. After I heard that Master Dong Zhuo had passed, I must admit that I was very anxious. Yet, it is evident now that our country is safe as long as we have you, Lady Dong Bai. Huh. You really have a glib tongue, don't you? After Grandfather's death, you were unable to join another clan. So now you've come groveling back to me as a last resort. No. No, it's not like that at all. I have no need for your flattery. If you want to impress me, just show me what you can do. Yes, yes, my lady. Phew, things have settled down at last. Ever since grandfather was killed, I haven't even had a chance to catch my breath. 
It would be best for you to take some time and rest. In the meanwhile, we'll reorganize the troops that have been gathered. Although we do not seem to lack in numbers, it would be nice to gather a bit more troops, seeing how our enemy is Lubu. However, if we gather any more troops, our provisions here at Luoyang will prove insufficient. Before we go to battle with Lubu, we'll need to establish a supply line. This is no time for leisurely debate. If we're lacking troops or provisions, we just need to go out and get them. After Grandfather's death, who's accumulated the most wealth? That would likely be Yuan Shu, the man who inherited leadership of the Yuan clan. I see. That settles it then. After taking a short break, we'll have to go and pay that you and Shu a little visit. Make any necessary preparations. Yes! My lady! Ah, I knew it. What I'm lacking most are a few good vassals. Is there anywhere I can find a few that aren't useless? Someone who will actually listen to what I say. Someone like... Zhang Liao? Zhang Liao, just watch and see. I don't care how strong that Lu Bu's gotten. You'll regret ever having betrayed me. After rescuing the Emperor from Shun An, Cao Cao leads him to his own capital of Shu Cheng. His control of the revered emperor of the long reigning Han Dynasty gives him a certain prestige. Elsewhere, Yuan Shu's faction is gradually losing support. Panicking, he does the unthinkable. He declares himself emperor, basing his claim on the imperial seal he had taken from the late Sun Zheng. He claims to be the true leader and calls on all faithful lords to support him. However, this gives Yuan Shao the perfect excuse against him. Shao proclaims Xu a traitor and begins his own campaign against him. Pardon the interruption. Master Yuan Zhu, there is someone who requests an audience with you. Who is it? I'm currently occupied with preparing our march on Shochun. Oh, it's you. Dong Zhuo's grandchild. What have you come here for? Don't tell me. You were thinking about getting revenge on me for my glorious exploits at Luo Young. Hmm, I seem to remember the battle going a little bit differently. Well, whatever you say. I'll close my eyes and ignore the fact that you betrayed Grandfather, at least for the moment. Today, I've come to talk business. How many times exactly have you lost to you and Xiao now? Seeing how nice a person I am, I thought I'd lend you a hand. What? What was that? As compensation, half of your accumulated wealth should be fair. What do you say? Not a bad deal, huh? Hmph. <laughs> Who'd do business with a little girl like you? And what's this talk of me losing? 
the real battle is only about to begin. My wealth is to be used precisely for this battle. There's no reason for me to share it with the likes of you. Trying to sponge off nobility? Just how much of a fool are you? What? what would you just say? Yuan Shu, the arrangements to send supplies to Shou Chun are complete. Our army's preparations are also complete. We are ready to march at any moment. Very well. Soon, sir. Zhou Yu, good work. You are dismissed. As you can see, I'm quite busy. I've no time to be your little playmate. Hurry up and be gone from my sight! I can't believe this! And here I was, just trying to be nice and offer him a chance to be my vassal. I've changed my mind. Looks like making deals and halfway measures aren't going to cut it. I'm taking it all. His wealth, his people, his soldiers. I'm taking everything you and Shu's got! You and Shu, you will regret trying to make a fool of me. I will take it all by force. <laughs> 